Hey everyone, welcome back to the Pack Bros YouTube channel. My name is Chris, and today we are diving into something that I have not done on the channel before, but I have done privately off camera, and that is opening a One Piece booster box from Bandai Namco. So this is the second booster box that I'm opening of One Piece, and I will say my first box that I opened, which I believe was the first set, um, by the way, 127 types in total, 12 cards per pack, 24 packs per box and on the back here with those 127 types you can see the breakdown 45 commons 32 uncommons 26 rares 10 super rares two secret rares eight leaders four specials those bottom three are the ones you are really looking for with um alternative art cards as well within the box uh, the alt art high-end rarity cards are pretty much the ones you are looking for those are the big big money ones as i was saying before i got into the types there pleasantly surprised with uh with how they've been handling this product um just absolute fantastic uh desire and um support from the community with this product i just knocked my mic as i was saying fantastic support from the community across the board with this product um i i was not expecting this to do as well as it has been doing over the past, uh, I want to say about five sets that they've done, five or six sets, uh, and I opened the first one, and it's, it's just fantastic. I do know One Piece is one of, if not the most popular anime, just period, like across the board, um, so it doesn't surprise me that there was a lot of hype for it. I just didn't expect the hype to carry over and continue for this long, um, so fantastic job on Bandai Namco for doing a great job with this product, and uh, shout out to all the people actually supporting this product and having a great time with it right off the bat. We get a leader card. All right, that wasn't as good as I thought it was, but that's okay because we have a rare right behind it of Deathly Poison Gas Bomb MH5. All right, don't ever get that confused. And another rare right behind that with Kokoro and uh, a Dawn card. Dawn cards are, I guess, similar to tokens that you would find in um, other uh, TCGs and whatnot. One little gripe I do have with this product is the visibility of the rarity in the bottom corner it is like the smallest text possible and for somebody like me that doesn't have fantastic eyesight i either have to open my eyes wide open or squint super hard to even see what kind of rarity it is which sucks it does suck so that's one improvement that i would make but other than that card quality feels great uh, even from the first box i opened nami on the rare oh <laughs> man this what a box already like, you gotta be kidding me. Craig, with the SR pull. I literally can't find that card on the price list. So, anyways, moving right along. Three, four, five, six, seven. So, it looks like there's seven commons into one, two, three, into three uncommons. Okay. So, it looks like there's about ten cards before you actually get into the goodies. Um, Belmare on the rare and... Wow. Yeah, that's uh that's not normal at all and that's uh that that's like a $30 card right there. Okay, this is absolutely fantastic. How many uh two secret rares, 10 super rares? I wonder if that counts as a super rare. Yeah, I think that's a super rare, not a secret rare. I think the secret rares will be labeled SEC and the supers are labeled SR. Okay. We uh we we figured it out. I apologize. I'm I'm trying to figure this out as I go. Um but yeah, overall Fantastic product. They're doing a really great job with it. Everything feels good. I haven't seen any like card issues. But... What is happening right now? There's no shot that I'm getting these cards. I got two super rares back to back and I just got a secret rare. Like every time I try to talk about this product, it just slaps me in the face with another hit. There's only two secret rares in the entire set. I just got one of them. That's wild. Holy smokes. I'm not even going to start talking about the product again until I get through this. Because what like, what, what if I get another like insane card? Like, there's a leader pull. Rare. Rare. Okay, that was that was like a normal pack. Okay, we're snap back to reality. As I was saying, the quality of these cards is fantastic. I have yet to see anything damaged. I have yet to see anything insanely like printed off center or something like that um which is something that i would typically find with something like a Yu-Gi-Oh, another secret rare are you freaking kidding me and it's the same one as the last time just a different artwork this is unbelievable tcg is like Yu-Gi-Oh, for example um 
I mean, the the printing off center and some of the errors and the damages, just it, it's all over the place for uh, TCGs like that. But when it comes to uh, One Piece and Bandai Namco, I've yet to see anything absolutely egregious. Like they're they're doing an absolute fantastic job of this product. And I can see why it is surviving and doing so well because they took the time, they're taking the effort. They're not pumping these products out like three in a month or something like that. Um, like like Wizards of the Coast would be doing with magic. They're, they're just doing an overall really good job and they're taking it with some care. And I think that's something that you don't see that much in modern uh, TCGs. It, it, it's just product after product after product after product and you know the the, the quality kind of goes to the wayside and that's that's not how it should be in my opinion rare and a rare again all right we're, we're getting back i honestly think the front of this box was just like absolutely loaded and now we're actually going to be brought back uh back to what it should be like th th this is all going to average out by the end of this video i guarantee it rare rob lukey luchy lukey i don't know I, i'm sorry I haven't watched many episodes of this anime, so I apologize if I mispronounce some of the names, which I will do. Just bear with me. Uh, I also want to mention that these uh, booster boxes for One Piece are actually uh, somewhat affordable for what you're getting. Oh, baby, another super rare with Kaku. Very nice. Uh, I actually think I got this one for like one, oh, I want to say 110 something like that um and if, if if you compare that to the likes of magic of the gathering or pokemon um it's it's pretty affordable comparatively speaking to some of the other tcgs rare charlotte smoothie and a super rare of charlotte cracker uh the only other tcg i could think of that is more affordable than this would be Yu-Gi-Oh. most of their boxes msrp for about 75 dollars and some of their specialty prints will <clears throat> excuse me uh cost a bit more than that um, so yeah, this one is actually, I think, fairly priced for what you're, uh, expected to get out of the box. And in addition to that, the grading for these cards seems to be absolutely immaculate, which ties back to the quality care that this company is actually taking with the cards. And we got a double rare out of that one. Uh, I personally had a card that I graded, which I got out of the first box I did off camera and it graded a gem mint tenant. It's like one of the first cards that... I've ever submitted to PSA that got a Gem Mint 10 score. We have a Legend Charlotte Linlin, a rare Charlotte Smoothie, and a rare Izo. All right, next pack, and I think I got something fire at the end here. I got a rare, Spandom. Oh, a super rare. Sorry, I keep moving the cards. It's just so hard to see the rarity. Um, a super rare, Usopp. Very nice. Into the next pack. 10 cards off to the side. We have a rare Django and another super rare Kako. I believe that's a duplicate actually for that one. Next pack. 10 cards off to the side. 3,000 worlds on the rare. Charlotte Pudding on the rare and just your typical Dawn card. Now, I don't know if they did it in this set as well, but in the first one I opened, there was like a little, not secret, but a, a little special Dawn card that uh, was fairly rare, to be honest with you. And it was actually worth a decent amount too. I'm curious if they did that same thing in this set. It would be really cool if they did. We got Rob again. <laughs> Rob right behind him. Double Rob hit. So we got about five packs left here. Five packs left from the booster box. One, two four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We have a rare Brunu, a rare Jin, and I think that's exactly what I was just talking about with a Dawn card. I think this is one of the variation Dawn cards, which I believe there's only one of in a booster box, or excuse me, one in the set, one different Dawn card. And I just got it. Okay, we got another leader. A Rob again. We have Flame Emperor on the rare and another Charlotte Smoothie on the rare. Into the next pack. We have Kaya on the rare and then another rare Gum Gum J Gatling. I like that name. That's a good name for a card. Here we go with our second last pack. 
I had a feeling this would all average out by the end of it, and it looks like it actually is. Maybe I did get a little bit more lucky than uh, your average box, but... Well, super rare. Charlotte Linlin. And the last pack. You guys know what to do. Hit that like button for last pack luck. And here we go. With a rare Marshall D. Teach. A rare Blueno. And that is all we got. So I'm going to go through this little special pile really quick. Because I believe this is where most of the uh, big money lies. We have Charlotte Lindlin on the super rare. Rob Lucky. Lucci. I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing it wrong probably. On the super rare. Kaku on the super rare. Usopp on the super rare. Charlotte Cracker on the super rare. Kaku on the super rare. And then we got a secret rare Soja King. And then another secret rare Soja King. And a super rare of Marco. As well as a super rare of Craig. So I think I absolutely did a fantastic job with the pulls that I got out of this. Also, I see absolutely no issues with any of the cards. The surfaces look great. The edges look great. The corners look great. The art is fantastic. I have nothing but good things to say about One Piece, honestly. They're doing an absolutely fantastic job, and I hope they continue. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like the One Piece TCG? Do you not like it? Are there any improvements you'd like to see? Do you think it's just fine the way it is? Please let me know. And of course, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as hitting that notification bell so you know every single time that we post a new video. Unfortunately, I'm all out of One Piece packs, which means I'm out of time, but I'll see you guys in the next video.